3D printing is a, uh, an invention that occurred about 20 years ago. We can use this technology to design and build new tools, and we can build these in a way that's cheaper, faster, and better than has been possible before. One of the things that it allows us to do is instead of, we can kind of transform the technology of building. So instead of thinking about a traditional product, we can now print an analog that allows you to creatively engage what it means to manufacture things. Um, and that's a, it's a, that's a new direction for architects um, in terms of how they think about what they do and what's possible. So our medical physics program is amongst the first research groups to explore how these 3D printing uh, technologies can be applied to practical healthcare problems such as radiation therapy. One of the projects that I'm working on right now is a project with uh, Dr. Wayne Neuhauser. He does research on uh, cancer treatments, particularly the instrumentation and the devices that allow for radiation therapy with respect to treating breast cancer. So I'm working on 3D printing forms that allow him to test the effectiveness of his equipment. 3D printing is an excellent resource to be able to do this because obviously you can print pretty much anything. Quite often when we're faced with a clinical challenge, it's really helpful to have available experts in different branches of science. And so fortunately here in the LSU uh, Mary Bird Medical Physics Program, we have access to all of these different experts and we're able to just walk down the hall and consult with the person who really has the knowledge and experience and expertise to move the project forward quickly. Within Louisiana, where we have a kind of unique combination of manufacturing, we have the oil industry, and we also have the entertainment industry, um, all of these kinds of conditions require flexible, creative, um, highly qualified personnel. So the capability to uh, jump from one context to another that may appear to be foreign is a goal, I think, relative to educating the students here at LSU. What that will mean for the state is that you have a workforce that can constantly adapt and quickly adapt to the situation that they're given. For example, the work that we're doing on these phantoms uh, allows us to produce these uh, devices locally, which is not only cheaper, faster, and better, but it's keeping the money in the Louisiana economy. It's essentially the application of science and technology in medicine, and as you know, more and more of medicine is being driven by science and technology. If we want our students to be participating in the economy in the way that the most advanced design and production firms in the world are, then they need to kind of engage and understand and tease out the unique capabilities of this type of equipment.